Hey there, welcome back to the channel. If you're someone who's always juggling a busy schedule between work, family, and personal commitments, finding time to work out can feel like an impossible task. One minute you're fired up, ready to tackle your fitness goals, and the next you're struggling just to find 30 minutes to move your body. Sound familiar? In today's video, we're going to talk about how to stay consistent with your workouts even when life feels chaotic. I'll be sharing realistic tips that will help you prioritize your fitness without feeling overwhelmed. We're not talking about spending hours at the gym or doing anything extreme here. These tips are designed for busy women like you who want to stay healthy and active, but who need a fitness routine that fits into your already packed schedule. So if you've ever struggled with consistency, motivation, or just finding time to exercise, stick with me. By the end of this video, you'll have the tools you need to create a sustainable workout routine that works for your lifestyle. Before we dive into the specific tips, let's start with a quick reminder of why consistency matters so much in fitness. The biggest mistake a lot of people make is thinking they need to work out intensely every day to see results. But the truth is, consistency is way more important than intensity. In other words, it's better to move your body regularly, even if it's for 20 minutes a day, than to work out for two hours once a week and burn yourself out. Here's why. Consistency creates habit, and habits are what drive long-term success, whether you're trying to lose weight, build strength, improve your endurance, or just feel better overall. When you make fitness a regular part of your life, something you do consistently rather than sporadically, you start to see progress. Think of it like brushing your teeth. You don't brush your teeth for two hours once a week, right? You brush for a few minutes every day because that's what keeps your teeth healthy in the long run. Fitness is the same way. Small consistent actions add up over time and lead to big results. So let's focus on how you can create a realistic, consistent workout routine that fits into your busy life. One of the biggest challenges busy women face is simply finding the time to work out. Between work deadlines, family obligations, and everything else on your to-do list, it's easy for exercise to fall to the bottom of your priorities. But here's the key. If you don't schedule your workouts, they're probably not going to happen. This is where time blocking comes in. Time blocking is the practice of scheduling specific blocks of time for certain activities throughout the day. You can think of it as making an appointment with yourself. When you schedule your workouts like you would any other important meeting, you're more likely to follow through. Start by looking at your weekly calendar and identify windows of time where you can fit in a workout. Maybe it's a 30 minutes in the morning before the kids wake up or a quick session during your lunch break. The key is to treat it like a non-negotiable appointment. Once it's on the calendar, it's happening. If something else comes up, you wouldn't cancel an important work meeting, right? Treat your workouts the same way. And don't feel like you have to block out an hour or more. If you only have 20 or 30 minutes, that's still enough time to get a great workout in. The goal is to make it consistent, not perfect. Batch your workouts. Another great strategy is to batch your workouts. For example, if you know Monday and Wednesdays are your busiest days, you can focus on shorter workouts on those days and save longer sessions for the weekend. Or you could strength training on two days, cardio on another, and flexibility exercises on a different day. Batching your workouts allows you to plan in advance and balance your fitness routine around your schedule. The key takeaway here is that your workouts don't need to be super long to be effective. It's being consistent and making time for movement on a regular basis. Let's be honest, if you don't enjoy your workouts, you're not going to stick with them for long. One of the biggest barriers to consistency is boredom or dread. If you're dragging yourself through a workout that you hate, you'll find every excuse to skip it. So it's super important to find activities that you actually look forward to. Now this doesn't mean you have to be excited to exercise every single day, but it does mean you should explore different types of workouts to see what feels fun or rewarding for you. Maybe you love the calm, centering nature of yoga or Pilates. Maybe you prefer the intensity and rhythm of a dance workout like Zumba or a hip hop dance class. Or maybe you're someone who thrives on the challenge of lifting weights or enjoys the simplicity of going for a brisk walk or run outdoors. Whatever it is, the best workout for you is the one that you'll actually do. 
When you enjoy the activity, it becomes less of a chore and more of something you look forward to. That's how you build consistency, by choosing workouts that align with your preferences and personality. Try different formats. If you're not sure what you enjoy yet, I encourage you to try different workout formats. Maybe try a new group class at your gym, experiment with an at-home workout video, or even take a friend along for a fitness activity you've never done before. Mixing things up can make exercise feel fresh and exciting, while also challenging your body in new ways, which is the key for long-term progress. If you're feeling overwhelmed by the thought of carving out time for a full workout session, here's a great tip. Mini workouts. Mini workouts are short bursts of activity, usually 5 to 15 minutes, that can fit into your day whenever you have a spare moment. These quick sessions can be just as effective, especially when you're busy. For example, you could do a 10 minute strength workout in the morning before work, take a brisk 10 minute walk during your lunch break, and then do five minutes of stretching or yoga in the evening. It doesn't have to be one long workout. Many sessions add up and can still deliver great results. Plus they're easier to fit into your hectic schedule. Let's talk about accountability. One of the best ways to stay consistent with your workouts is to have someone or something holding you accountable. It's a lot harder to skip a workout when you know someone is counting on you or when you've committed to a specific goal. Find a workout buddy. One great way to build accountability is to find a workout buddy. This could be a friend, coworker, or even a family member who shares similar fitness goals. When you have someone to exercise with, it becomes a social activity rather than just another task on your to-do list. Plus, having a workout partner means you're more likely to show up because you don't want to let them down. Even if you can't physically work out, you can still hold each other accountable. Send a quick text to your workout buddy to check in and see if they got their workout in for the day, and they can do the same for you. This type of mutual support can go a long way in keeping you motivated. You can join a class or a group. Another way to stay accountable is to join a class or group, whether it's in-person fitness class, a virtual workout group, or an online community. Being part of something bigger can help you stay motivated. Many group classes have a set schedule which adds structures to your routine and makes it easier to stick with. If you're doing online workouts, there are tons of fitness communities on social media or fitness apps where you can share your progress, set goals, and get support from like-minded women. It's amazing how a little encouragement from others can make a huge difference in your consistency. Tracking your workouts is another fantastic way to hold yourself accountable. When you keep a record of your workouts, whether it's in a fitness journal, an app, or even on a simple calendar, you can see your progress over time. This visual representation of your effort can be incredibly motivating. For example, you could give yourself a gold star or a check mark on the days you complete your workout. After a while, you'll want to keep the streak going. It's a small, simple way to stay accountable to yourself and feel proud of the work you're putting in. Last but not least, I want to talk about the importance of flexibility and being kind to yourself when it comes to staying consistent with your workouts. Life happens. You might get sick, have an extra busy week at work, or something unexpected might come up. And guess what? That's okay. It's important to give yourself permission to be flexible. If you miss a workout or have to cut a session short, don't beat yourself up about it. The key to long-term consistency is understanding that it's not about perfection, it's about progress. Missing one workout or taking a break doesn't mean you fail. It's all about how you get back on track when life throws you a curveball. To avoid burnout, set realistic fitness goals that fit your current lifestyle. If you only have time for three 20-minute workouts a week, that's enough. If you can only manage 10 minutes some days, that's still a win. Consistency doesn't mean doing everything perfectly. It means showing up regularly and doing your best, even when things don't go according to plan. Consistency is the secret sauce to seeing results, but it's not about pushing yourself to the limit every day. It's about creating a fitness routine that works for your life. One that's flexible, enjoyable, and sustainable in the long run. I hope these tips help you stay consistent with your workouts even when you're busy. Remember, it's all about finding what works for you and showing up for yourself, even if just 10 or 20 minutes at a time. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to join our community of strong, motivated women. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.